sled from the start. Every pole the winning one. And it's winning colors showing the way as they straight the way in the way. Winning colors doing it just like Kiwi Lucas said she would. Who's going to crack the code beyond um, Omaha Beach improbable roadster and game winner? Because I think those are the top four. Most people think it's Tacitus because of his pedigree and so forth. And even though he's got the ped pedigree, does he have the firepower? Does he have the punch? And that's what I'm real curious about because he did overcome a lot of things in the wood. But that's another myth that we're going to, you know, touch on uh, when speaking of, you know, uh, overrated perceptions is that he overcame a lot of trouble in the wood and definitely there was some bumper car but in actuality on his own accord with no forced contact after jo Jovia came in and tried to wipe out the, the whole field in the beginning uh, he floated out wide and, and basically put over deliver into the grandstand um, on the first turn that was Tacitus all on his own so he created trouble on the first turn but ideally to, to collectively he had trouble whether he initiated it after Joe Eva came in and created a bumper car um, situation or not. But, you know, I'm just curious when you look at these numbers, um, for those who are already high on him, where you may place him. In looking at Omaha Beach, for example, now Tacitus himself, let's look at him. He's gone from a 75 to a 93 to a 97 in his buyers. So the 97 puts him right there. His running style is very, very good. If he can avoid maybe some of the traffic issues and get that opportunity to make his run, he could be right there, particularly if there's a meltdown on the front end. 73, 93 in the, in the uh, I believe, in the Tampa Bay Derby, and then that 97. So the Tampa Bay Derby, some people might have had skeptical, you know, beliefs or thoughts about that, but he did very, very well to improve and almost get near the uh, century mark uh, in the wood. Um, his Brisnets are a little bit better as well. Um, they look pretty good. Um, and so he's, he's definitely improved. Um, and then when you look at tax, Tax is a horse I'm very interested in. I think he's a horse that could hit the board. I'm not necessarily literally thinking he's going to be a win bet. He got first run on Tacitus, and then Tacitus came back on and was able to get by him in the stretch begrudgingly. And from a two-month layoff, I think that this bodes well for Tax. It wouldn't surprise me. This is where I'm going. It wouldn't surprise me if he actually runs better than Tacitus in uh, the Kentucky Derby. He's got the front-running tactics, and maybe Tacitus may not, not only be able to close the gap, on uh, his rival in tax but these other horses as well I think tax could be right there or he might get cooked on the front end his numbers have been very very good he's had three straight 100 plus brisnet uh, speed figures which is very very good his 103 is actually better than, the, than Omaha Beach's career best in terms of brisnets um, so that's an improvement. You look back at tax, his brisnets have been very good, 85, 95, 103. Thorough graph has gone from an eight, a 8 to a 3.5 to a 3 quarters, 3 fourths. So that's very, very good. Um, Spinoff is another horse when you look at numbers. Take a look at the Louisiana Derby runner-up off of a conditions win at Tampa. Uh, that was his prep prior to running at the fairgrounds. He has a faster brisnet than the top three winners of the top of the major preps, which would be the Arkansas Derby, excuse me, the uh, the Wood Memorial, the Santa Anita Derby, and the Bluegrass. His it, so he's got a better brisnet at least as far as that's concerned. So that puts him in the mix. He's tactical. Uh, doesn't absolutely need the lead, but he might want to run off. You know, some of these horses are going to be keyed up and riled up on Derby Day. Uh, and his, you know, thoroughgraph is equal to both Vekoma and Roadster as well. So spinoff is a horse if you just want to go with the Randy Moss method, maybe what Steve Haskin likes to look at, and a lot of the guys at DRF, Daily Racing Forum, they strictly sometimes go by mon um, by numbers, who's the fastest horse, in sort of um, pinpointing and projecting who can win a race like the Kentucky Derby. As far as buyers go, in terms of breaking down a few contenders, Roadster's right there uh, with a 98 off the Santa Anita Derby. We know Tacitus has the 97 is a for mention uh, maximum security omaha beach and improbable all have 
century mark. They all, you know, crack the hundred mark as far as uh, buyers go with maximum security in uh, Omaha Beach uh, with 101s uh, from the Florida and Arkansas derbies, respectively, and improbable in finishing second to Omaha Beach, ran a 100, and we know that's pretty good considering all the issues that he had in the starting gate and whatnot and being a little bit wide on an off track that he probably didn't absolutely relish, but he did very, very well to overcome that. So if the track comes up muddy, I'm pretty sure that he, like a lot of horses, probably, probably don't would prefer um, the track to be drier, but he may be a horse that could navigate a trip, but it's 20 horses versus 11 or 12. So that could be a factor. Weather is always going to play a key in all of this. So those are, you know, some quick looks uh, at numbers as far as the Kentucky Derby goes.